Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today's video is very different than anything you have ever seen from me. Today I'm actually asking for your help. I need help with making a script for Farming Simulator 17. Um, now the script has to be made in Lua and it actually, it's not a complete script that I need, but I need a, um, I need, I need adding in something to an already existing Lua script. Now, what you see in front of you is uh, a building that I made on uh, a fighter jet somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, the building you see in right here in front of us is a building that I made for a map that I'm currently um, working on. And it's a map that I'm going to be using in my Let's Play series, upcoming Let's Play series for Farming Simulator 17. Um, it's going to be a lot of of um, live streaming for that. But I can't get this uh, map done because of this flipping building here. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm using the farm silo system. Some of you may know it from different maps or other maps, and some of you may not. But what I've done is I've separated the farm silo system up into having the tip trigger or the tip, uh, the load place, tip unloading place, I suppose it is, over on that side of this silo building and the um, load place on this side of the building where you actually load stuff from the silo into a trailer. Now, if you don't know this farm silo system, it's a very, very cool little system. Look, that's very neat. So once you turn on and off the system, uh, the pipe will turn in and out. And I've edited in a new screen here to, um, to match the fill types that I want to use the farm silo system from. It's very loud, by the way. Uh, or maybe it's just my headset. But what I want here is the idea of actually having um, the fruit types within these compartment here. So you would tip, for instance, let's say that you would tip uh, straw over here. Now I want to create the illusion that the straw is going to be pumped up through that pipe. It might not be very realistic, but it's the illusion that I want to create. And then it's going to be poured out of there. Uh, so I need some sort of uh, particle system to, to uh, simulate um, the straw being poured down onto the ground here where a heap, a fruit heap will then start rising. Um, and over here I want to have, uh, this is pig food that I've tried to set up here. Now the same theory that you're going to dump the pig food over here on the, uh, on the load place here. And then particle system will start there to, to, to show uh, pig food being, being poured down. And the fruit here will start to rise. Same goes with potatoes and sugar beet and so on. I know it's not particularly realistic, but it's what I really want. I think it could be a really, really good idea. Now, some have described this as what we have had in Farming Simulator 15 before we had the tip anywhere. And I suppose that is one way of actually looking at it. And, um, and I kind of like the idea. So what I need help with is changing the script for the farm silo system to actually make these heaps rise and fall uh, depending on the amount of storage that is in that given silo or that given fill type and at the same time i want uh, particle systems to come from there to drop down on the fill plane uh, whenever i'm unloading something over here now i can give you a little example i've been working a little bit on it and i've been um to somewhat I don't know, questionable success. I've already made a couple of things here. So what I want is to come in here with the trailer. And... Oh, my bad. And once you start emptying out the trailer, you can see this the fill plane that's already rising there. Now that is the effect that I want. And then obviously particle systems coming from uh, the pipe in the ceiling. Uh, so that is what I technically want here. Alright, so that works pretty well. You dump it into there and the fill plane will start rising there. Now I need to do something with the particle system, but I just, I'm just i just not skilled enough to, to do this. So I actually really, really need your help. 
Um, if we come over here, you can see I've already changed this, so this uh, will take into account the different fruit types and the storage amount in the silo. Um, so here's my problem. Uh, it wasn't too difficult for me to figure out how to make that fill plane, fill plane raise, raise whenever I fill something into um, that one over there. But this is where it all goes wrong then. This trailer is filled with pig food. Now, if my theory was to work correct, pig food would be stored in silo bunker number two. Now have a look at this. That's not really what I want. It is lifting the fill plane for the straw, which is not ideal. Um, so yeah, obviously I want to change that into something else. Now, the silo has detected the two fill types, so the silo is not the problem. The problem is that I'm not skilled enough in programming in Lua. As you can see here, we have pig food. Uh, we've already had that detected there. I'm not skilled enough to program in Lua to make that change, and I've been asking around various places for people to help me. Uh, get this done, but I can't seem to find anyone that um, that wants to help me. So I'm reaching out to you guys. I, I really need your help to get this map done. And if you can't do it, if I'm not getting the help, well, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm just not going to be able to make this this silo work the way that I wanted it to. But I really hope you guys can help me out there. Get in touch. My mail is in the description um, down below this video. And. Um, let me know if you would be interested in helping making this map finished. Now obviously I'll, I'll, I'll credit you for the work you've done, no, no doubt about that. Now I want to state straight away, this is a private map. I'm not, uh, I'm not legally allowed to, um, to publish this map. I'm allowed to use it for my own purpose and I'm yeah, allowed to use it for, um, for recording videos and doing live streams and so on. It's, it's a, um, a rework of a different map. So I'm basically just editing an already existing map. So I can't actually publish the map. So it will be used for my own uh, playthrough. And if I can get in touch with the original map makers, I will try to ask them for permission to, uh, to release the map once it's done. But I wouldn't bet on it. So anyway, guys, I hope you can help me out. Let me know, uh, send me an email. Uh, Post in, the, post in the comment section down below. Let me know if you can help me in any way. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye for now.